everybody, it's me again, and I have a couple of um, shares for you. I made a couple more TNs for the shop. Plus, I have a planner kit available in my shop for Valentine's. I'll show you that as well real quick. Um, hold on one second. I forgot to pull it out, of course. All right, so... What you're looking at is a pad from uh, Hobby Lobby, which is called LOL. And remember when everyone was trying to get this, I did pick up this one. I thought I had gotten the 12 by 12, but I don't think I did. I think I just went with the um, 8.5 by 11. And um, I decided to make some TNs using these as far as my paper part, but for the covers. I went and used this that's also from Hobby Lobby. Actually, all of this is from Hobby Lobby, including this piece back here. And this is faux leather. That it's one of the newer ones that they started to carry. I only used one roll. I had bought two. And here's um, how it looks. And it does have a bit of a texture. It almost feels like it's that embroidered. These are supposed to look like embroidered flowers on denim. And then the back is a soft, um, almost like felt or... Yeah, kind of like a felt feeling, but it's like a soft um, background or backing. So I always back mine up with something, and I did use this. This is actually only like about half of what is there. It's a stiffer felt. It is a pattern. And again, from Hobby Lobby, it's usually 99 cents. So the normal size is 12 by 18, but I did cut, cut off almost half of this to give me two. And um, this is what was left over, plus a few little pieces here from this one roll to get two pocket size TNs. And then I also used just like a tiny bit of this one here that comes off the spool, I think. Did this one come off the spool? It might, it may or may not, I think it has because it's got that. This one's a harder backing, it's like a canvas feel, but I did use this for pockets and then for like a little piece to make my bows. I used one of these extra pieces and made a bow clip for them and I have tutorials on how to make everything there's a whole playlist down below please take the time and look at that playlist and see if you can find something that you're looking for as far as tutorials related to travelers notebooks and then there's also other links down below for other things you might want to check so let me put this aside I kind of thought that this coordinated um, I'm just gonna slip this in here so that's why I used it for my inside and let me put this aside. Okay. <clears throat> so here they are. There are two available. I try to usually do a couple of each when I make these. Can I straighten this out? <laughs> um, and I love how it looks because it looks like real denim that's been embroidered. And even the feel of it, it has that feel. And um, yeah, so... Again, I do have tutorials. I do use a spray adhesive to put the two pieces back to back, but then I use hot glue to glue in my pockets. So, and it does stick pretty well. Um, these here, they are actually earrings that I turn into planner dangles, and they were from Walmart. They were on clearance. I'm glad they were because I wouldn't be caught dead using those kind of earrings. <laughs> they're a little gaudy. Anyway, but for planners, they're really cute. Um, so I thought these colors coordinated with it, and on screen it's looking a little more on the orange side, but it's it's a pink, you know, like the darkest pink in these flowers. Use a pink elastic. I have a link down below to where I get my elastic, and they are exactly the same, so I'm going to put one aside now. If you go to the link and there's nothing there, it's probably because they're both sold. They are pocket size, so the inserts are 3.5 wide by 5.5 tall, and so there are two pockets one on each side you can see the inside here it's a nice sturdy cover now after I put that like a stiffer felt the only thing when you use a stiffer felt you're gonna get wrinkling in there but um, I think it's okay it doesn't really wrinkle when before I put in my inserts it kinda left a dent here but once you fill it 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 goes away so everything is nice and rounded um, with these TNs you will get some uh, what are these called? Hmm. Some cards. They have a name. <laughs> um, there's one of them back here that I just tucked in for you. And then there's a washi tape sample. Now this is the coordinating. I don't remember if this one goes with it, but it does coordinate to me. 
um, washi from the same collection. So, but I think it may, this one here, I'm not sure if it was in the same tube, but I think it was because I take all the stuff out. So it's on an acetate with gold polka dot. And then I have over here a little clip that's shaped like a martini glass for fun. And then there are four inserts in here. So this is the first one. I want to show you the covers first. I am using my reusable or removable covers where you just change out the inside if you wanted to change out the paper. This is the next one. I'll, I'll show you that tag in a minute. Oh, where's the back? I love that one. There's a lot of foiling in this pad. And then this is the folder. I do laminate them. And then here's the last one. It says girls just want to have fun. It's got the little light. It's like a neon light thing. That's the back. And then this is the back cover. Okay. So I usually set these up and then you can move everything around. But I kind of like to set it up so you can see how it's, how you can use it. <clears throat> All right. So you will get a bow clip here. And then you're going to get the month on two pages blank with no dates. They're undated. I don't know how many are in here as far as how many months you can go, but I think I printed out 12 times. Maybe this might be the, I don't know. But you get quite a bit of months in there. I didn't want to make it too thick. So since these are, um, these covers can, you can change out the papers in them they turn into little pockets for you so you can add more stuff and then on this one I did add the credit card pocket so then on this one I just clipped on with this um, eyeglass clip paper clip this cute tag it's a shaker tag now I've been making shakers for these but I didn't make one for this particular one because I made a different um, page marker instead of the shaker, but I still wanted to throw in a shaker. So I used this one, which is from Hobby Lobby. I just removed the string and it's a little shaker. So you can actually adhere a, a clip to this or just use what I'm adding in here, but it just says hello. I did secure the little die cuts a little better with some hot glue because the little adhesive dots they put on was not holding at all. So I'm just using the glasses here to hold it in place. You move everything around if you want, if you buy this. Okay, so then in this one is the week on two pages. And this is set so that you go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But if you do like I do, where it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all you do is cover that with some date covers or white it out, you know. But I guess most of these are like that. I kind of like to go straight across and then come back down. That's just me. So something new, I did some tabs using my Silhouette Cameo. So you're going to get four gold tabs. All you got to do is fold them over to either here or up here. They got the little scallop top. So you're getting four of those. And then here's the rest of the cards, which I still can't remember. I think, oh, Project Life cards. Yeah, there we go. This pack that I bought is going like a long way. I, there's so many duplicates in those Project Life things. So I hate to buy them sometimes, but then they're so pretty. You're going to get this... Um, uh, <laughs> oh my God, page marker. Yeah, page marker. And, you know, it's like a bookmark. It's got a pocket in the front. It's a laminated one using the paper. Here's the back. But this time I made a tab with the same uh, gold foil paper um, and it says today I actually designed it so that I can just cut it out of whatever paper and then fold it over and just adhere it instead of doing it twice okay and then there's a sticker here it's one of the girls from the pad the, they have the stickers to coordinate so I stuck it down on top of the pocket. And in here are some of my own doodles that I've turned into die cuts. Just a few little planner accessories. And there's the paper back there. It's the cactus. I did cut down and fuse this pocket to fit you know, within this page marker. And then here is the pen holder. And then the pen is actually the coordinating pen that goes with that line. Now, some of these pens, they come a little messed up that's just the way they came but I did put the pink 
dress girl with her blue bag and then it says make a plan so I was able to grab a couple packs of those pens okay so then the paper clip with the coordinating material I have to go further for you to see it there's a tutorial on that also on the traveler's notebook playlist very easy to do I just use hot glue and then back here I threw in some stickers I have a ton of stickers so I need to remember to put them in now this little kit or set of stickers some of it is like back to school related but um, if you don't need that you don't have to use it because most of this you could use at any time for anything but I thought it kind of coordinated so you got all these stickers to play with you see how you can use these pockets I fill all my pockets up Okay, that's the back and here's the next one the folder and then I'm giving you an extra credit card pocket you could stick anywhere um, and then the last one is the lined paper these are the ones from Target um, I did make a pom-pom clip with white I'm running out of gold so I used a white um, paper clip and then here are some sticky notes to coordinate this one says love this it's kind of hard to there you go and lastly that's it so that's the back okay and then you can see how how that looks again it's just sprayed with an adhesive spray and then stuck down and it held pretty good so I have two of these available in the shop check it out plus the other there's a couple of other newer ones that are in there too all right so let me show you what I just did to coordinate with um, this kit I have XOXO it's a printable download um, and I think I have to pull this out what I made was a coordinating planner kit but it is of course only for the silhouette um, studio hold on oh I haven't cut these I thought I did okay I already showed you this and there's also the SSD cut files for these six, right? And then there is an SSD cut files for the stickers or planner kit to coordinate. So if you're a planner girl like me, you might want to pick up this to go with the, the rest of the kit. I haven't, um, I didn't print out a preview for it, but let's see, what else am I missing? I think I feel like I, I cut something else out okay yeah I did I got this and oh yes now I remember I made some tabs in two different sizes and page markers in two different sizes so this is what you get after you've already printed and cut it out with your silhouette studio um, design program and I haven't cut these down yet but you're going to get four files of the stickers and two more files of these things, which is pocket and B6 size page markers and tabs. I'll show you that in a second. And again, they are coordinated with this, but there's a couple of images in here that come out of some of my other Valentine's kits, which are also available in my shop. Links to that, um, to my shop and to this directly will be down below. And of course the TNs that I just showed you. Again, this is not cut down, but I left a space here so you can cut this and cut it in half if you like. And they're just some of the images from the kit um, sized down and turned into stickers. So you can do that with your Cameo. Okay, so pretty much all the same images, just sized down. And then here, this is from another one of my Valentine's kits, but I did like a full spread where you can just cover all your boxes see they're, they're squares and they fit Erin Condren in Happy Planner boxes it's just going to vary as far as the height okay so then this is from uh, again an image from another kit and then I did three washi size samples or washi strips here which these this one here is a, an inch wide and then this one's a half inch wide and you know you just cut however much you need for your you know to cover up whatever you're trying to cover and then here now these are similar to the other ones that I've been making I just turned them for Valentine's slash February and we've got our day covers in coordinating colors 
Um, and then I only went through to 28 because this is meant for February, but I did do my doodle um, heart. And we got payday, day off, pay bills, date night, February, Valentine's Day, clean, get stuff done, work, and love. And then we have weekend, February 14th. This is separate. And then Valentine's Day. And then we have some half boxes here. And then these little like to do today to buy. And then a blank strip. Again, you can cut these in half, you know, after you cut it down. The only one you can't cut down like that would be this one. And then the last one is this one. These are full boxes and then your checklist. And then just some decorative boxes. Okay, and again, these are from other kits um, that I have available. And then my, um, what are these? Functional stickers here. The, the newest one I think is only, let's see. I think it's just the little mop bucket. So there's a mop bucket and then some of them have faces on them. Uh, nail polish, vacuum, gas, a weight for like working out, a little box or package, a stethoscope for the doctor, a laundry basket, a um, duster, a pill, um, a printer, a scale, a credit card like for paying bills, a shopping basket or cart, a tooth, and then a trash can. So you get that. And then those are just the stickers. Then there's two separate files for either B6 size or um, pocket size. And the way these come, of course, you, you print it and then you cut them, right? But let's see if I remember how this was situated. This is not the right size. Okay, so you have, this is back and front, okay? That's why the word today is backwards. So you cut this out one time and you'll be able to stick these together and then laminate it. You got today and it'll be double-sided, okay? So, and then these little tabs here that I've figured out how to do, it took me a minute. I think I put them in. You might see them some something like this on your screen, right? So then you just print it and cut. But you just take them, these are tabs, fold them over, they're even on both sides, and then you just, you know, put them um, either on the side or on the top of your pages, and then you've got really cute paper clip tabs. And you get four for the pocket and four for the B6. Now with the B6, you do have to run this two times, and I only have it in one time this way with the larger tabs so they fit in the B6. So what you need to do is once you do this one time, print it and cut it, take this image in your design studio and flip it horizontally and then just run it through again. If you don't want more clips, you can just delete all these on the screen and just run this one more time horizontally and then you'll have the second part to go with this if you wanna do it or you could just leave a white back so, and then again, these are larger tabs, and you just flip it over, and really cute double-sided tabs for your planners. Okay, so I think that is all that I have for you today. Do I have any more shares? No. Okay, so I'm going to go pay my bills <laughs> and put away Christmas because I think I am ready to clear up, clean, vacuum, and do all that tomorrow. Um and then just you know keep working on the shop stuff so again links will be down below thank you all for watching i'll see you guys next time bye now